Hi, today I want to show you my prototype of a hand crank generator. Now this is really basic, it's just 3D printed um, and this motor came from a printer. Now at the moment the gears are just small and the teeth are wearing a little bit because they're so thin. Um, so there is a little bit of slippage on this, but I'll give you an example with this um, 12 volt LED strip. Now I'm not sure how bright that will show up on the camera because I have some light shining on me, but it's fairly bright here and it doesn't require much input to actually turn that if I show you. See, even with one finger I can turn that. So it's not too difficult. I'll give you a close up on the generator. So this is just a, um, a DC motor from a broken printer. And you can see that it's pretty basic, there's not much going on, but it does work quite well. Now, of course, like I said, the gears are too thin, so they're going to wear down too fast. I need to make them chunkier so they're stronger. Um, otherwise, there's not actually that much else to do. Of course, I want to make it into a case, but I want to make a hand crank design that anyone can print on a 3D printer, whether they have a big motor like this or if they have a smaller one like this, I want it to be interchangeable. So that's one of my design goals with this. Now I've hooked up a one watt LED, a little capacitor on the back, and we're gonna try and power that. So as you can see, it's actually, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but it's very bright. The gears are slipping a little bit because like I said, they're a bit thin, um, so they've started to wear down a bit. And if they go even like one or two millimeters out of line, they just slip. Now I built some washers into this design. Uh, they're not really washers, they're just raising them so that you don't have the flat face of the gear sitting on the base. And that does mean that when they're turning, there can be a little bit of play like this. And because the gears are so thin, uh, sometimes when they're turning, one of the gears will actually kind of go like this and the other gear will be pointing the other way and then that's when they, they slip even more. So I definitely do need thicker gears, but you can see here that it does power it and it is pretty bright. Like I said, at this point, this is only step one, a simple prototype just to get sort of some sizing ideas and some gearing ideas. This is a good simple platform that I can print quickly and I can swap parts out and sort of easily mess around with it. I am using um, metal threaded uh, bolts at the moment just because they're a bit easier than using plastic and 3d printing everything else so there are definitely improvements to be made if you have any ideas put them in the comment section uh, if you did enjoy this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe